Hey, Flimsy Lunch Tray here, and welcome to World of Warships. And before I start off on the topic of today's video, I'm sitting down, it's Thursday, and I need to say thank you, thank you, thank you for the 1,000 subscribers milestone that we hit on the channel, uh, was that a day or two ago? There's been so much going on um, with my work starting back up and having some family here, and I just took them to the airport, and I'm back uh, to my place now. Uh, so just trying to soak that more in. Uh, so I really appreciate uh, the growing of the FLT community here with you and how you have been uh, a part of that journey, some of you, since the very beginning uh, when uh, the channel was uh, still quite small. And I guess in some regards it's still small. But regardless, we are going to be doing a video and talking about the Puerto Rico today. We're going to look at the dockyard. I'm going to give you tips, advice, how to best approach it, my thoughts, uh, so on and so forth, as is traditional with other dockyard videos that I've done here on the channel. And we're going to hop into that. And the 1,000 subscriber giveaway I do need to make mention of will be happening probably this coming week. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I plan to have a little video, give you some more details. Um, I'll have a face reveal on Saturday. You get to know what Flimsy looks like. Uh, hopefully not ugly. <laughs> so that's all coming. So let's just go ahead and look at the dockyard event. So I haven't even uh, looked at it since it hit the live server. We had that video that I did uh, from the public test server and taking an early look at it. So let's just go ahead and hop in and look at the construction of the Puerto Rico and where we're at and what I would recommend doing. All right, got some nice aesthetics going on. All right, so construction of Puerto Rico. The ship features high survivability, a large consumable set, efficient AA defenses. This time, American cruiser Puerto Rico is being built at the dockyard. Her 12 305mm main battery guns are housed in four triple turrets and can unleash a weighty salvo. Dockyard combat missions will cease to be available in 73 days. Event ends in 82 days. So, um... And this is as of Thursday, so the day after uh, the patch the new update was 11.7 that was just released. So tier 10 American Heavy Cruiser Puerto Rico. So next. So what is the dockyard? So I know some of you are probably new to this, so I'll kind of read through Wargaming's cues here and uh, we'll break it down further. So uh, here you'll be able to see all the shipbuilding phases. You can obtain Puerto Rico and other rewards by completing them. The shipbuilding process is divided into phases. You will obtain rewards for each of them, and completing the entire shipbuilding process will reward you with the ship. Phase completion. The shipbuilding process comprises of 40 phases, listed out here along the bottom. You can complete 34 shipbuilding phases by progressing through dockyard combat missions. So, that means there's a gap of six phases that you cannot earn through the dockyard combat mission, and you will either need to purchase them via doubloons, or you can just purchase a starter pack, which will save you money. You can find the dockyard combat missions in the corresponding section of the port. I'll show you that. Uh, doubloons can be used to instantly complete phases. Okay, next. Final reward, Puerto Rico. Complete all the shipbuilding phases to obtain cruiser Puerto Rico. You can obtain Puerto Rico only upon completing any six phases or more by spending doubloons. If you continue to complete dockyard combat missions after you've built Puerto Rico, you will receive 250 steel for each uh, additional uh, phase. So for those who are maybe the whales in the community of World of Warships, if uh, this is their way to buy steel, quote unquote, um, because I mean, I'm not even playing on the main server yet as of Wednesday, you know, today being Thursday, um, but I'm sure you're seeing a, a bunch of Puerto Rico sailing around or a good handful of them already sailing around. Or maybe you were one of those lucky people who picked up the Puerto... Oh, I say lucky. <laughs> one of the people who picked up Puerto Rico when it was the first dockyard event that uh, Wargaming ever did. And it was a bit of a uh, dumpster fire. All right, so starter packs. Allow the completion of the shipbuilding phases in exchange for doubloons. Available only at the beginning of the shipbuilding process. Okay, so when you go across the bottom here, um, basically we're going to see these rewards get repeated. Um, if it's similar at least to how they had on the public test server. So we see coal, free XP, um, premium, and then the economic bonuses. And then you're going to get up so high. Uh, there's a distant voyager container, another day of premium, uh, camo, and then coal. So now it's even more coal. Now it's even more free XP and more elite commander XP and a gift container. 
and not just the common, but these the special uh, economic bonuses. So it's going to be increasing in value as you go up. Um, three days of premium, and then now we're up to 5,000 coal. And then the Huron, which when I pick up the Huron, uh, which uh, depends on how fast I'm able to progress through the dockyard and when they uh, unlock different dockyard phases, I will do an upgrading commander build on the Huron. As soon as I obtain it, I'll play it get the feel for it, and I'll go ahead and do the video. That's something I'm gonna work on with these dockyard events um, that I can be, as soon as the ship comes available and I'm, I obtain the ship, uh, I will focus on doing an upgrade commander build video and featuring the ship uh, for you all. So bear with me. Uh, Morally commander XP, uh, the, uh, what are these are the rare economic bonuses, because I think was it the unique are the top ones, if I'm not mistaken. More distant voyager containers, and okay, here you go. So these are the uh, very, very rare uh, economic bonuses. So they stack them both in together. 10,000 coal research points. So if you don't have access to the research bureau yet, um, you can obtain or get access to research bureau by obtaining research points here. So you get 4,000. Um, normally to unlock the research bureau, you need to have at least five tier 10 ships. Um, but if you obtain some research points to such an event like this is dockyard uh you'll be able to gain access to that that bit earlier two thousand steel so on top of you know it's maybe someone who goes through and they just whale and completely buy all of these phases for doubloons which would be an unseemly high amount uh not only do they get 250 steel for each shipbuilding phase but they also get two thousand steel so basically think of it as 200 uh well only of the 34 phases so 250 times 34 there's your answer and then you unlock the Puerto Rico, um, a large Alaska class cruiser. Uh, she would never existed, but uh, again, she was a project, but uh, project ships are not off. Um, uh, I can't remember what I was going to say, but they're not offhand to Wargaming. Uh, they'll definitely look at that. So um, laying of the keel, you can open this list of phases. I'll we'll just show you uh, what things can install because upon completing each shipbuilding phase, you can hop in here and you can see, oh, what does it look like for the guns to be installed or the uh, the boiler room, so on and so forth. But the big thing here, uh, I mean, you can also click uh, event days. They have uh, event rules, sorry, 73 days from completing, uh, available to October 24th, 12 p.m. That's your last chance to get picking up Puerto Rico from the dockyard. Uh, event rules, which uh, we basically have already gone over, gives you a list of the rewards you're going to earn and then you know highlights more about the ship and you can even read more on Wargaming's website but um, the approach I would recommend for you okay so if you are a new player in World of Warships uh, you're gonna understand this in a few minutes when I get to the dockyard combat missions but if you're a newer player let's say you really maybe you haven't even gotten a tier 5 ship yet you've been playing the past two three months um, a dockyard uh, obtaining the Puerto Rico and the Huron is probably gonna be rather difficult for you um, typically, you have to have a tier 5 ship or higher. You need to complete combat missions with different ship classes. So, you know, a destroyer, a cruiser, a battleship, um, maybe even an aircraft carrier. Um, just at least tier 5 or higher. So if you're a brand new player, um, it might be difficult for you. If you don't play the game that often, maybe you log on, you play one or two games a day, it's still going to be a bit of a struggle, a challenge for you. But if you play... You know, a couple battles a day, um, and you have at least that tier five ship higher of each of the classes. You should be fine in being able to complete um, uh, this phase, uh, the dockyard. So, what I'm going to show you here. So, they have uh, several different um, purchase packages, phase uh, starter packs, starter bundles, if you will. So, you can start off with the what is the bare minimum. So, six phases for seven thousand five hundred doubloons. Um, now, these are only available at the beginning of the dockyard event, okay? So, after, if you wait too long, these starter packs will go, and you need at least six to purchase six shipbuilding phases with doubloons and then do all 34 combat missions to pick up the Puerto Rico, okay? Uh, so, basically, if I were to say, oh, well, never mind, uh, I don't want to buy these right now, I don't, I'll wait later, well, then you're going to pay 1,750 doubloons per phase, and that means you're going to be paying 10,500 of the balloons for six phases when you could have purchased it for 7,500 doubloons. So you're saving yourself uh, 3,000 doubloons essentially with that. Okay. Um, and then 12 phases. So they're selling 12 phases for 12,000 doubloons, uh, 12 uh, phases times that 1750. Then you're looking at 
21,000 doubloons. So this is almost, uh, I don't know, let's say 40% off, uh, something like that. Um, rough, uh, I guess maybe, I don't know, something like that. Um, so you can purchase uh, either of these in the beginning. Uh, what I always do when I'm looking to pick up the dockyard ships is I just go for this one. Um, if you want to earn, pick up more steel, right? Uh, you'd be basically picking up, um, I think I can do the math in my head, but I'll just check. Yeah. So let's say you did all 34 shipbuilding phases and you purchased this one. Um, that means you're going to earn an additional 1,500 steel on top of the 2,000 steel to give. So you get 3,500 steel total. So maybe you're not that far away from a, sh a steel ship you're wanting to pick up or you have the money um, to spend. Then you can do that here uh, with... Uh, the Puerto Rico and picking up an additional 1500 steel. Myself, I don't ever really tend to swing that way. I just go for the bare minimum. And so when I'm purchasing the starter pack, you can see this is what it's going to give me. Um, and I'm going to collect that all in one go. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save 3000 doubloons by purchasing that first starter pack, the minimal requirement of six ship building phases. So I get to watch the ship being built. The art department tends to do, well, uh, there's not a technical art department at Wargaming. There's two different departments that handle it. Uh, the art department is just a term we, the, I guess, Wargaming community have come up with. Um, but they do a phenomenal job because you know what, who I mean when I say art department. Um, so it's really nice. We could see the ship being built. Um, you can see up here it's telling us installation of side frame sections and torpedo protection in the midship. So we do have some torpedo protection going on in here. Um, in the, the midsection of the ship. And you can see that the progress is going up. Um, so four, now we're to five. Uh, installation of the side frame sections of the torpedo protection in the bow end. So it looks like that's what uh, part of this is up here. And then it's gonna stop uh, here on the back side. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and collect the reward. And so that's how we pick up everything and we're already six shipbuilding phases in. Um, available only at the beginning of the shipbuilding process. So you can see here, they give you that little uh, sideline. So um, I am not able to purchase this one as well because I would need no, more doubloons. Um, I had a bunch of doubloons I purchased with the 100% coupon that we're giving gives you for part of your birthday. Um, if I remember, maybe just if you're wet, what are you talking about, Flimsy? I'll throw that at the end of the video and you can see what that looks like. Okay, so I think we've covered everything here. Uh, so we got some good rewards there. Um, I think there was even distant voyagers container in that. No, it doesn't look like I have any. Okay, so let's go to combat missions. Let me show you the dockyard mission. So you can see new. I haven't looked at it yet since logging in the other day. Um, Puerto Rico dockyard. Okay, so here... Uh, you can see the, uh, 10 in total going through here. So this is, if you watch my public test server, this is definitely going to be different here, okay? The other combat mission grind they had on the public test server was just because public test server is only available for a few days. Uh, we're here, you know, this is available for 73 days, okay? So basically what's gonna happen is it's gonna increase in difficulty um, as we go down the list, okay? Uh, so you can complete the mission in any order. Uh, so you can see these are these uh, the ship building phases. This is what we are ultimately going for, but we need to complete six uh, of these. So there's actually going to be more than six. Uh, so you can pick and choose which one you want to work on. Um, so 95,000 HP of damage upon your spotting. Um, that's not too difficult if you're uh, spotting. I've had games where I've done over 100,000 spotting in one randoms battle in a destroyer. 750 ribbons, uh, earn 100,000 commander XP. That can be a bit harder if you're a newer player. 19,000 base XP. And you can see you can do this in co-op, random, uh, scenarios, brawl, ranked, uh, clan battles, in tier 5 through tier 10, including super ships. Okay, This is the requirement. So if you don't have a tier ship, uh, ship tier 5 or higher, you're not going to be able to complete any of the dockyard combat missions. Okay, And furthermore you need to be able to have uh, different classes of ships that are not only one tier five ship that is a destroyer, but maybe also when it's a cruiser, a battleship or an aircraft carrier, um, or you can do good in one battle and get three destroyed ribbons. <laughs> Again, tier five, 
210. Um, and you can see this one's limited upon its completion criteria, uh, randoms and ranked, okay? Uh, so then you can come through here and pick out what you wanna do. Uh, some of these are going to um, have, uh, you wanna lap over each other. So, you know, while you're working on your spotting damage, you're also getting ribbons and you're also earning commander XP as well as base XP. So these kind of uh, all stack together because this is a tier five ship or higher um, and in any of these modes, okay? So here you can see there's a difference. Uh, so completion criteria for the 750 ribbons, I can't do that in ops. Uh, all right, is it, yeah, ops. So this is the scenarios, scenarios icon is missing. So you really have to pay attention uh, to what you can and uh, are not able to do and how we're gaming limits you. Um, I tend to play, I think I play more, I don't know. Uh, I tend to just focus on a destroyer cruiser or battleship. I don't mess with carriers because I'm not a carrier player. Okay, so this mission chain is available now. Now, when you go down to these other mission chains, so let's say you've already completed the first, uh, how do they even phrase these? The first section uh, of these combat missions, okay? Let's say you've already completed this one. Um, this one's not going to be available until four days from now, okay? Um, but you can go ahead and take a look. I can see what uh, completion criteria is, what uh, I need to achieve. Um, and so that's gonna change um, different things going up. Um, da, 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 da. You know, one battle in the ranked or randoms get, you know, 10 hits to Citadel or destroyed ribbons. <laughs> you know, um, go down further, spot 100 torpedoes, get 1,700 ribbons. So, you know, up here, uh, we saw 750 ribbons, so that's kind of how uh, they're increasing that. Earned 220,000 commander XP versus the 100,000 commander XP we saw earlier. Uh, damage to ships, okay? So you see that it's just going to be increasing in difficulty. Um, you can slap some economic bonuses on for earning credits to help with uh, playing maybe a premium ship if you have one because they uh, tend to earn more credits, right? Um, and then we get to the last one, uh, available... In two, two months, I see four days, 11 days, 18 days, 25 days. Um, so even if you're like, yeah, yeah I want to get to Puerto Rico, okay, and you're not going to whale it, you're going to be waiting a little while before you're able to eventually pick it up because um, there's 40 combat or 34 or 40 shipbuilding tokens uh, or how they f phrase it, shipbuilding phases, they keep changing the names. Um, but 34 that you have to grind, right? So it's a bit lengthy. Some other others have only been, let's say, 20 shipbuilding token phases. So it's gonna be a lengthy time uh, to uh, earn this. Now, if you already have the Puerto Rico, Wargaming is going to give you compensation and you get to choose, you basically get this certificate and you can choose if you want it to be research bureau points, if you want it to be steel, if you want it to be coal and don't choose the coal because you want to steal, because you get, you'd eventually actually get more coal from the steel, because one steel converts to 10 coal. Um, and I think they give you, I don't know if it was like, I don't remember, anyhow, it you get more coal if you just buy a ship, uh, if you're buying a coal ship and you transfer the steel over. Uh, I think it was 264,000 coal, but you can get like 300,000 coal if you choose steel, if my memory serves correctly. So. So that is what uh, the dockyard uh, looks like. Um, tips and tricks. Uh, let me hop back into combat missions real quick. Um, you're going to be, if you're a co-op main player, you're going to be seeing a lot of players in co-op, okay? A lot of players are just going to simply hop into co-op battles, uh, knock these out. There's other going to be other players who hop in scenarios uh, to knock these out. Um, so when new ch mission chains unlock, so when this one unlocks in four days, uh, you're going to kind of see another resurgence of typical, let's say, random players hopping in co-op. So co-op is an easy place where you can farm, like, you know, cause damage, 285,000 damage. Well, the bots tend to be kind of dumb, and you can just sail up to them, dump a bunch of torpedoes into them, or however that works. You'll probably see a lot of club bears, marceaus, um, that type of thing, just charging in, wiping out the whole flank before you and a cruiser or battleship might get there. So that's an annoying thing for some people in the game. I get it. Um, but that's what you're going to be seeing. So co-op is an easy place to grind some of these things. Now, you're not going to earn as much credits, as an example. Um, you don't earn as much base XP uh, in co-op. So then that tends to be more of a, 
hey, let's go in scenarios because you can uh, tend to earn a decent amount of base XP in scenarios. And for scenarios, uh, currently, you need to have a tier six to tier seven ship uh, to be able to do that. Um, and then again, you know, you're farming potential damage or you know whatever these combat missions have. So. Um, my goal, what I, you'll know within the first few days when you're working on this, like if there's like two or three combat mission sections, uh, unlocked, but you're still on the second one, then you're kind of, let's say, quote unquote, maybe you're falling behind a little bit. Um, so you just have to be mindful of your progress, regularly check in to see, you know, after you've played a couple games, maybe where are you at? Um, so it's like, oh, I got the ribbons done. Um, I've got the, um... 55,000 base XP ton. I mean, that's going to take you a bit for destroyers. So then rather than keep playing destroyers, uh, I need to switch to another ship so that I can start working on experience, earning experience for it. Now, grant, granted, this isn't um, base uh, experience for these ships. It's just earn experience. If it's base XP, it'll tell you here. But you could, if you use the really good economic bonuses, you could potentially earn the 55,000 in two battles at tier 10, right? I've, I've done one where I've got 30,000 basics or experience uh, in one game. Um, or maybe it was even more than that. This, this, Stalin, this was this Minotaur Stalin? Yeah, well, Minotaur video I did, and maybe it was 30,000 free XP and like over 60,000 experience. I don't remember. So some of these you can grind quite quickly, but it just depends on how far into the game you are. If you're a newer player, again, it can be a bit challenging, um, but just pay attention. As long as you're paying attention to the combat missions, that's going to help you immensely to know what you need to be working on when you need to switch a ship class. Um, look to where you can find um, some crossover between these different ones, as that will help you, you know, rather than keep playing Destroyer when you actually need to be earning experience for a cruiser now, something like that. But again, there's multiple. There's more than just six combat missions here, so you can choose which ones you're working on. Uh, so that's nice that Wargaming does that because I never do the aircraft carrier ones. Um, maybe I use an aircraft carrier when I need to get spotting ribbons, like get 39 spotted ribbons. Okay, well, I can do that in a carrier pretty quickly in co-op. I can just fly over the nine ships. I'm pretty much almost almost guaranteed seven in the nine. Right, so that's something as a tip there. Um, so... Just be mindful. If you have questions, let me know in the comments below uh, when you're looking at the dockyard. Um, the ship overall uh, is decent. It is a very hard ship to citadel from what I have been told. Um, uh, where the ship become a ship in which you see it uh, being played in competitive meta like clan battles and uh, King of the Seas, something like that. Um, I don't really know per se. Uh, if it's that good of a ship. Um, but she's a fair ship. She's a tier 10 ship. So if you're a collector, you know, it's another ship to add to your collection. Another ship you don't have to worry maybe about picking up from a Christmas or Santa container because uh, you want to get a different ship like Missouri, Benham, or whatever. Um, so something like that. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. Again, if you have questions, let me know in the comments. And again, thank you for the 1,000 subscribers. It's really awesome. I'm excited to do the face reveal on Saturday. Uh, we'll have a Q&A with that. Um, you can see the YouTube community post if you want to have a question for me, just in general game related or non-game related. Also on my Discord server, um, I'll probably throw up a specific short video just about Q&A by tomorrow Friday because I'm going to go ahead and upload this video today on Thursday. So the sooner you have this, the better off at this point with the Dockyard event because many of you are probably wondering. So yeah, so that's going to wrap up the video today. So if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you do want to see more. If you're subscribed, thanks so much. I really appreciate your support as the sky's the limit. No idea where we're going to go from here after this 1,000 subscribers. So until next time, take care. Mm -hmm.